I'll just say a couple of words. Actually, I don't really have a great deal to say about the question of Sweden, also Finland, uh, and NATO, mostly puzzlement. I'll be brief, and I hope the discussion will help me to resolve my apparent misunderstanding. Uh, the puzzles have to do with what seems to be a contradiction. So two ideas uh, predominate in Western discourse concerning these matters. The first idea is unrestrained gloating over Putin's demonstration that the Russian military is a paper tiger. It's incapable even of conquering cities a few kilometers from its border that are defended by a mostly citizen's army. So great excitement about the exposure of the fact that this is a totally incompetent military force. That's one idea. The other idea is that we must cower in terror before this awesome military machine, which is about to attack and overwhelm anyone on its, everyone on its path, even though it plainly has no capacity to do so and has never even hinted at such a thought. Never mind. We must arm ourselves to the teeth. We must join the most powerful military machine force in world history, a military alliance that, of course, pretends to be defensive, as all military forces do, but is plainly an offensive force, as its record clearly demonstrates. And, of course, its core military component, US, UK, that's the military base for NATO, oh, they have a long record up to the present of aggression, violence, and subversion. But we have to do this, heightening tensions to protect ourselves from the paper tiger that is so incompetent it can't conquer cities a couple of kilometers from its border that are not even defended by a major army, citizen's army. Well, something seems to be amiss. Uh, maybe you can explain it to me. Uh, all that aside, uh, Sweden and Finland are substantial military powers, not on the scale of the United States and Britain, but quite substantial. Co according to military sources, which I'll now be quoting Atlantic Council, uh, Finland has the largest reserve force in Europe and can mobilize 280,000 troops. Still quoting its decision last year to replace its F-18 combat aircraft with F-35 fighters, the most advanced in the world, will make its air force one of Europe's best. For its part, part um, Sweden has also been strengthening its forces. Its military industry is so closely integrated with the United States that the US has even relaxed the Buy American condition for Sweden, basically regarding Swedish military industry as part of the US system. Both uh, Finland and Sweden have close relations with the United States and NATO. They participate in what are called out of area operations, meaning mostly offensive and aggression, despite pretenses, including the Balkans and Afghanistan, uh, and they take part in NATO exercises. Uh, but that's not enough to protect themselves from the floundering paper tiger. So that's my puzzlement. So maybe you can explain to me what I'm missing.